Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. This is part 2 of the Relative Strength Index RSI Secrets video series that I have started yesterday. In today's, uh, in today's uh, episode you will learn about the key RSI alerts and what time frames are they work best on these uh, on these alerts right so let's continue from yesterday for those of those of you who are new and uh, you have not been uh, you have not seen yesterday's video i uh, i employ, i urge you to watch part 1 of the series which you will find in my timeline on uh, youtube so and for those who have seen the video yesterday let's start so yesterday we saw in uh, we saw that we calculated the RSI in a particular example data example at 53.49, right? Um, uh, at the end of the uh, what we concluded was that it took 1.5 upward movement in price for the RSI to touch 53.49. Now today we will tackle on how we will read this signal. There are some typos here which I will correct and you will get it in your uh, PDF. So don't uh, look at the typos here. Now let's let's start analyzing the signal. Okay, now the general assumption is this that there are three types of market, right? One is a choppy market where you know you have a narrow range around six seven stocks driving the indices and the rest of the stocks in being in either in coma or half percent one percent up and down that's a choppy market right and then you have a bull market where everything pops and then you have a bear market where we uh, you have a bear market where everything falls and uh, it's very difficult to go long at the in a bear market and uh, we have seen all three three types of markets recently in 2017 we saw a massive bull market we saw a massive bear market after the budget and we have been experiencing choppy markets all throughout you know where uh, the range is very narrow and uh, uh, and a few stocks drive up the indices so nevertheless now let's go let's see in the general assumption that a trader makes that in choppy markets is the RSI of 53.49 I'm only talking about the RSI limit that we have discussed because I want to discuss that 53.49 limit until you completely understand it it's not just about 53.49 it's understanding the significance of it so in a choppy market the RSI of 53.49 may not mean much because stocks float around float around in these in such markets without making meaningful gains and losses so if a stock goes up by 1% up 1.5% up and then falls by uh, 1 1.5% 1 that's par for the course for example in today's trading on 31st october you did see how acc behaved it, it was you know it went up a couple of percent up uh, points up and uh, it went to 15 50 plus and in the end it fell again you know so things like this one and a half percent keep happening uh, in choppy markets so an RSI of 53.49 may not signify much in a choppy market in a bull market also an RSI of 53.49 may not mean much because in a bull market stocks pop you know this just zoom and uh, RSI touching 53.49 or in this case a mere uh, mere percentage increase of 1.5 percent after after 14 periods may not amount to much because other stocks will be popping like 5 percent 10 percent right so based on the other stocks rising this one and a half percent may be a maybe because the stock has is rising in sentiment so let's say that for in a bull market to a, a value of 53.49 or let's say 54 is not very valid right it does not spur you into action into a buy or a sell likewise in bear markets in bear market if a stock is going up 
53.49 also may not mean much because it can be because the stock is being short covered or maybe there's a relief rally happening in the bear market and which is why it's going up one and a half percent is no big deal even in a bear market right so this is about the three different part uh, the three different types of markets and the rsi of 53.49 in each of these markets right let's go to the next uh, this now let's consider this what if rsi touches 53.49 on a one minute or three minute or five minute chart chart time period what does it what does it signify see if it touches 53.49 on a one minute uh, one minute time frame it means that in the in 14 minutes the stock has appreciated 1.5 percent or if for a three minute it's like you know in 42 minutes it's appreciated 1.5 percent so that can be considered as significant on a lower time frame right but as i will show you in the example on the next page reading the is rsi on a low on lower time frames is very risky unless it is supported by other signal other signals such as you know you also need a screener and an indicator and then on lower time frame rsi becomes a validator of the screener and the indicator right of the of whatever your screen rsi becomes a validator on longer periods an rsi like we discussed in the last slide an rsi of 53.49 may not imply much though you know to validate bullishness like this i mentioned to you earlier that to validate valid bullishness on lower periods we need other indicators i'm sorry this has not been completely edited i need to edit this powerpoint so now we the question the key question that we have to ask is which rsi levels matter for longer periods now before we get into that i want to show you a chart on the five minute time frame and the rsi on that this is the rsi i have marked as a 55 as a, as the uh, so as a resistance and 45 as the support now what happens you know you see every time the stock crosses 55 i'm, I'm i put in 55 because 53.49 was in our example you're getting you can buy uh, suppose if you buy this is a five minute time frame suppose if you buy you will get a lot of whipsaws and the stock will seesaw maybe if you are not a not a disciplined trader or maybe if you are a newbie you know what will happen it will panic you very fast so the advice to you is that do not trade rsi on a lower time frame until it is validated by a screener all these formulas of the screener etc of other indicators i will be disclosing to you as uh, with in the newer video right this uh, let's let's complete understanding the rsi first so let's move to the next now we for a longer time period what are the key levels of rsi that we must watch out for let's i've created two other examples right here we go now in this example i've i'm cre i've created a bullish example you see um, in this uh, if you have followed yesterday's video the total gains are 110 and the loss is 70 giving us an average of 7.857 and 5 for 14 periods right so our, if i apply the formula of rsi which you have learned yesterday i am getting a value of 61.11 notice what happens here you see the net gain is 40 bucks this is 4 percent 40 bucks is 4% of 1000 that's a starting point 4% the uh, script has gained and the RSI is at 61.11 yesterday we saw that the script had gained uh, script had gained 1.5% which you have uh, which you saw in the example and the RSI was 53.49 which we just discussed very thoroughly right now now my thing to you is that on longer time frames rsi above 60 is a bullish reading especially 
as the duration increases so a month reading of over 60 is is more potent than a week reading of uh, over 60 and a week is greater than a day hours and a day is greater than hours hours are greater than minutes right of course whatever reading you make of rsi it must be read together with the trend whether the trend is a bullish trend or a bearish trend or a choppy trend and there will be a video on that a little a little later i am planning a lot of videos perhaps at least four to five in a week you know and uh, one of the videos will show you how to read the trend for the coming day right and uh, when we go to part three part four of the rsi i'll show you how to work this rsi about 60. this video is just to show you about what levels are, are you should consider as bullish of course there will be a lot of people uh, out there who might be thinking that what about this overbought and oversold levels I will discuss all those in a later video right now we are talking about bullish levels and bearish levels and so this RSI above 60 is a bullish reading right and for longer time frames and uh, I have mentioned about time frames out here now let's learn about bearish levels now I have created another example over here in which the losses outstrip the gains losses are 95 the gains are 65 right and i'm getting an average of 4.64 gain and 6.78 losses and i'm getting an rsi value of 40.61 when i apply the formula right rsi below 40 is a bearish reading and the same condition that i mentioned to you in the bullish reading is holds good here that a uh, longer the time period the more potent the reading of the bearish indicator likewise as in the bull indicator it should be read with you know read together with the trend which also i'll show you how to read and i will show you how to work these levels of 60 and 40 as we move to new newer videos over time right so this was yesterday we learned about how rsi functions today we learned about the rsi levels and how to interpret them in different ty types of markets and what time periods are more are risky that's the lower time periods and what time periods are fruitful to read of course we will now in the next video learn how to use those fruitful time periods the longer time periods to make prof profits i'll show you all that so with that and this is a short video i have concluded this um so okay this is the usual blah blah in the next tutorial i'll show you how to analyze and trade rsi in choppy markets there will be different videos oh yeah that reminds me there are going to be different videos for how to use rsi in bullish markets how to use rsi in bearish markets and how to use rsi in choppy markets so the next video will be how to use rsi in choppy markets there will be a video on divergence as well right and there will be a, another part on how to use RSI on lower time frames, one minute to five minutes, and that will be in a live market. You know, I'll be taking the, the video live and uh, showing you how that works, right? So, well, this is it for today. If you want a tutorial as a PDF, you can mail me this, uh, mail me at bulbulstocks at gmail.com. If, if you do not know me from Twitter, you can always follow me on Twitter, I mean, I'd, uh, you can connect with me at the rate of the Bulbul. Bull. And if you feel like opening an account with Prabhuda Leather, of which I am an AP, you can always call this number 770-79-1100. Thanks for, this, uh, for watching this video. And uh, I request you to ask all your friends to subscribe. Thanks and bye.